hello guys welcome back uh, in this video we are going to uh, talk or understand uh, what is index time field extraction and search time field extraction uh, often i have found that uh, it is a bit uh, confusing for a uh, splunk beginner level to understand the difference between these uh, uh, kind of field extraction or field extraction methods so uh, we are going to uh, you know understand about uh, what is index time field extraction as well as uh, stem field extraction and we'll see the difference between these two uh, type of extraction so let's begin with the index time so as it name suggests uh, the extraction uh, which takes place at the index timing so index timing is nothing but the process of, of where splunk extracts the field from your input data so for example if your input data uh, contains the field called ip and its value so such kind of you know field extraction happens at the index time so let's understand this index time what exactly it is with some example so uh, if you see uh, i have one uh, log file uh, which can be a unstructured data format uh, or uh, we can take a structured data for example csv or json and i want to index that data to the splunk so in that case when i say that or when i upload that structured data in csv or json data to the splunk so that process, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm trying uh, in, in that time span, we are uh, identifying the event, I mean Splunk identifying the events from this input data and it's getting written onto the disk. So this time span particularly called as an index time. So in this process, Splunk identifies the fields and writes into the disk. So uh, during this operation, there are uh, certain processes which takes place, for example, the main process is called as a data parsing, segmentation, identifying the events. Uh, also field extraction, default field extraction happens at this level. Uh, some user field extraction also happens at this stage. Uh, we, we can see this in uh, upcoming video, what is custom field extraction. And event time stamping also takes place. So as a result of this process, uh, when Splunk extracts the field, so these fields are available in your events for all the time even for during the search operations so you don't have to uh, uh, re-extract or you know uh, uh, try to write something to get that face that is not required in the index time it will be identified uh, at the uh, event uh, writing into the uh, disk in the into the disk so this is about index time uh, let's see about the search time field extraction so again this is a time span uh, when we uh, begin the search and uh, when we end or when the Splunk ends the search. So the time span which it takes uh, during these both these points is called the search time field extraction. So uh, the following process are takes place uh, during this search time field extraction like segmentation, tagging, field analyzing uh, and also it uh, supports the calculated field etc. So these are some examples where we can uh, write some commands and uh, we can extract some fields or we can add a new fields into the event uh, so uh, just to uh, from the video we can understand uh, like when i uh, write the index give the index and uh, hit the enter so so th now this is the search time field extraction when the search ends this extraction completes and this process is called as a search time field extraction and the as a, as a result when we have a new field so that fields are uh, available uh, uh, till only for that session unless and until we save that search result into some dashboard otherwise next time you will not see that uh, you know the search search fields which we have uh, right like field analyzing or calculated fields so I think this is uh, uh, about the basics of search time and index time field extractions. Thank you. So if you found this video useful, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.